Oh, we got a sponge in. Oh, we got something in here too. I'm Mr. Lysak, and this morning we're gonna return over here to the Newport Avenue Bridge, jump in the water by the spillway, and we've got a couple of other guys that we're gonna include today. Nick Wren down there, Facebook Ryan, and we got Chris. I don't even know what Chris is known for. Chris, what are you known for? What we're gonna do is we're gonna put in over here by the uh, the bridge. There's a nice little trail to go down there. Come down to the no spillway sign is my plan, and then I'm gonna kind of do a 45 over those buoys to that area. As you guys know, diving bridges, people are throwing oh, stuff yeah. off all the time. So between uh, four of us, I'm expecting all of us to uh, come out with a nice little load. Absolutely. So that's the rundown. We're gonna gear up and get ready to get in the water. Kira, I have a new joke for you today. What do you get when you have a dinosaur and a pig? A very weird friendship. No, no, are you ready for it? Jurassic pork. I got one more for you, Kira. What? Since we're coming up on Halloween, why didn't the skeleton cross the road? Why? Because he didn't have any guts. Oh, nice. <laughs> This wasn't here last time, Kiara. Do you know what that is? Something you probably shouldn't be picking up. Yeah, that's, that's what that's what otter poop looks like. Well, Nick and Chris gonna be here in a few minutes, but I got my air. Ryan, you got air? I got air. Are you buckled up? You're all strapped up. Air in, mask on. Here we go. Good? All good. All right. I'll see you underwater.
A GoPro on a homemade selfie stick. I don't think it works anymore. Oh, well, it might. It's in a waterproof housing. All your friends are under the bridge. I hope they're finding good stuff. One's right there, and then the two are over there. I'll be back in a bit. What do you end up with? Chris, anything yet? Oh, just some trash and some dog toys. Yeah. All right, here we go again. Here I go again.
this was a glass bottle challenge today, we might as well just declare me the winner right now. So there's an old radio. I can give you uh, my bag to empty real quick. It's really heavy. Ugh. And I'm not gonna make any promises, but there's a shopping cart over there too right. that I might retrieve if I can find it again. Why did you get this fishing lure? You can probably just leave it in there. Yeah, they're all right. Let him go with that. Thanks for getting, hey, you didn't get that uh, nope. hook out of there. <laughs> That's your problem, Dad. You put it in there, you take it out of there. I'll get it later. Yeah. All right. That hubcap looks like an old classic. Yeah. Pull that out. I want to see that thing. I got this old radio. Oh, nice. Let <laughs> <laughs> me see it, Mom. Wow. Thank you. Ooh. Sketchy. I have a shopping cart that has been dragged for the last oh, did, 10 minutes. Did you get it? Yeah, it's right on right below me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes. So nobody got the soccer ball yet. Not yet. <laughs> Chris, how's your gear holding up? Well, the basket is leaking, but besides that, all good. He's getting the soccer ball. You're good. <laughs> Ready? Ah. Right, guys, here comes. That's a good garden piece, don't you think? Oh yeah. Did somebody get your soccer ball? Yeah, Ryan did and then he tossed it up and then it fell to the other side. And then he also got the shopping cart. Oh, good. So that's out of there. Yeah. Well, I still have more air, so I'm gonna go for one more pass. All right. After we empty that bag. Dad, it's like the splash zone at SeaWorld. It's a radio from the early 80s, 70s. Anybody know on that one? I ended up finding the GoPro. I love the power of Facebook. I put the picture of this picture up and check it out. I found the guy that this actually belongs to. Uh, look, it actually still works. I charged it up for you. I am surprised so that it actually works. That thing's still going. Your That's card's crazy. still in there. All your footage is still there. This That's is yours, sir. I've got a story to tell. <laughs> Elliot's got a story to tell. All right. You're doing what you're doing, man. I appreciate it. Awesome. Again, hey, thanks. Right on, man. Up with this. Very nice to meet you. Awesome, you too. Thanks. I also found, and I want to cut this open. I have no idea what's even inside of it. Homemade dog toy yeah. or? It, well, I feel 
it feels like there's a rock in there. Or one of those uh, explosives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we found because them. we are next to the dam, so somebody could be uh, homing an explosive to blow up the dam. Well, we got a sponge in. Oh, we got something in here too. <laughs> okay. It's getting interesting now. First of all, it's a star shape, so I don't even know, I know why we yeah. have like the, the little star shape. Duct tape to throw you weird. off. It, it threw me off for sure. And then a rope around it. And then we have a bottle inside of all of it. Is that like a wick that they made uh, going into? Probably. Yeah, like, like the string is going into the bottle. So why is the string going into the bottle? Huh. Any idea on that one? Well, that's could. odd. What is going on there? All right, well, let's take the lid off. Yeah. Good thing I'm still wearing gloves. Chris yeah, is standing yeah. back. <laughs> Stand back. All right. And it's just mud. What are those? Yeah. Uh, there's mud. something in here. Do we have any what the hell? fresh uh, water? Yeah, I got some fresh water there. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, it's just a bolt. Why? I don't know. Here, can, can you hand me the water there? Those look like muzzle loader. Huh. Well, if anybody's ever wondering what's inside of the little uh, starfish looking thing inside of the pill bottle, a little uh, threaded through, maybe they're gauges. Maybe like high end gauges you can put through. Here I ended up with another cell phone today. A ton of bottles. Yeah, for, so so yeah. this attaches to the side of a boat. The oar goes through here like this. A little strap goes over it. Row, row. Oh, that I also found was the uh, level here. And the parking sign. And Oh, the and the amazing parking, parking sign. sign. That parking sign is going in mom's garden for sure. But it's not an old, old one. Let's open it up. Maybe there's something still good in there for you, Nick. Yeah, maybe. Down the river. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. good. Ooh, it's ice water. Yeah, go ahead and drink that. That looks like clean. That's yeah. actually been sealed in there pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad though. No. Oh, smell that. Is it bad? Tell me what oh, that is. I can smell it from here. <sighs> Sulfur. That means it'll uh, keep your youth. If you want to drink that, I'll keep a half bottle of that. And anybody wants to buy it, it's going to be $4,672. Hit me up, let me know. I'll even sign the bottle for you. Let's jump over to uh, Nick and some of the other guys and what they got. Found this old, uh, looks like a hubcap. What, year, up, were, what like, year were the, the I'm uh, guessing, ashes no longer Is that like made? in the 50s or something? I want to say, yeah, somewhere back then. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was about the most interesting thing I found. Not a lot of cans in here, mostly bottles. Oh, but I did find the, uh, look at this, the Bob Marley Mellow Mood Light Half Tea Half Lemonade. I might have to run right out and uh, buy a fresh one. These were made from 1937 to 1954. Somebody just checked that on uh, Google. Ryan, I want to know about your uh, shopping cart and uh, what it took for you to get those out of there as well as your chair if you don't mind uh, talking about those. Uh, sure, yeah, those are really heavy. It was only about, I don't know, 40 feet that way, but it took me 10 minutes to drag that thing across the bottom. And then you found a uh, chair in there as well. A chair and a, a big street sign, two hour. Oh yeah, that's not, that's not missed that we ended up with two street signs, so we ended up with the newer one and the uh, older one. And we ended up with a uh, barricade, lighter, lighter, it doesn't light up anymore, but we ended up with that barricade for the city of Bend as well. Guys, I gotta say, we did good. High fives Absolutely. all the way around. Way to go, Ryan, way to go, Chris. I'm Mr. Lysing, this is Rattler Wren. I'll leave a link in the description below. Chip Norris, Chris on the right, and we got Ryan from Facebook. I don't even know if we're allowed to say that, but I said it anyway. If you have not already done so, make sure to subscribe, turn on that little bell notification, that way you can instant notice anytime we're out having a good time on a Saturday morning like this. We'll see you on the next one. Later, later. Bye-bye.